Uh, supposedly we're live. Let's see. Good evening, y'all. Um, and I'm having a very late breakfast. No, you're not. Welcome to our new viewers breakfast? on Kick. It's cereal. That's not cereal. It doesn't look like it could give me diabetes. Oh, wait a minute. Is that honey bunches of woats? In almond milk? That's exactly what it is. That's my cereal of choice. Well, my cereal of choice is the multigrain bunches of oats in almond milk, but that's freaking amazing. I, I like this, and I like um, Frosted Flakes. That's I like Frosted Flakes, too. Oh, I like hey, Pops, Ricky. Corn Pops. It was a bomb. Yes. Yeah. What Jackbox are we playing tonight? Uh, just put it under general Jackbox. That's what I did for Kick. Okay, but go. for for Restream, it, it'll let you type out which one you're doing, and then it helps narrow right, it down. Okay, pick other. a number between three and six. Have we done four? Uh, okay, let's do four. Have we done it, though? Because I feel like we haven't. Uh, we have a little bit, but it's not usually... I feel like we've done five and six but not four yeah we haven't really done okay put it on four we'll figure something out okay. here perfect 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 okay fucking tiktok i am tiktok tiktok right. is me i need to oh, go get my headphones i am now in my office for the first time in forever hashtag frozen <laughs> And I don't have my headphones oh. here. Um, let's see here. I'm getting my uh, little browser set up. Oh, yeah, I like my name, Kumasan. What does that mean? Okay. She had to go get her headphones. Oh, she's like sitting there like a kitty in the headlights. Meow, meow. Jackbox Party Pack 4. Kumasan is is, is, um, is is bear in Japanese. I knew that. I knew that. You know um, what? San, the suffix Sorry. san makes any name um, first person. So when you, when you're going to go talk about, or when you talk about or, Kuma in the uh, third person, it's just Kuma. But if you're speaking to the Kuma-san, then yeah. you say Kuma-san. Unless, but for you, you would technically, hold on. Theoretically and technically, you, to me and Karsten, would be either um, Kuma sensei, or like Kuma That's teacher, right. or yeah. uh, Kuma senpai, because you are our elder yeah. in class. Yeah. Uh, Kirsten, I, I haven't got that far. You know, I've only been doing this for a year. Yes, you can call Kirsten Kumachan. I can't because she's not younger than me, but I kind of can because as like a friend honorific Kumachan or uh, not K Kirsten Chan or Kirsty Chan. And then same for me. Um, it would probably be Neko Chan, which is like little kitty um, or Neko Kun, meaning like your junior. But that's if you're going like not formal at all. Yeah, you'll be Neko-san. Neko-san? And Kirsty can be Kirsty-san. Because again, um, I've only been studying this for a year and you know, I barely know anything at all. Okay, fair and valid. We yeah. used to live next to this family. I cannot for the life of me remember where they were from i just know they were of some type of asian descent obviously i was too young to ask them to specify whether they were chinese whether they were taiwanese whether they were japanese i didn't ask any of that but they used to call me spend enough time in asia and you can tell by looking at them right but they used to call me round eyes in their native tongue how which was round eye i don't remember in in, um, I in Hawaiian, saying, it's Howley, but I think that's Japanese also, isn't it? I knew I knew about Howley, but 
I remember that they kept calling me and I was like, that's not my name. That? My name is Kristen. Kaisen in Japanese. That would and also they were work. like, oh, they were like, oh, it means round eyes. And I was like, that seems offensive if I said it, but because you're it's, saying it, it's good. It's kosher. Well, it is, we're good. It's just, uh, it's just the, the, um, it's, it's just the, the most distinguishing feature of your otherness. It's not necessarily a derogatory or pejorative. It's just, right. it's just the thing that they notice first about you. But I don't think it would be, especially when I smile, these eyes disappear. They are no longer <laughs> you, do, you, do have, you do have a squinty smile. It's true, but it's, but that's very different <laughs> than the Asian, you know, upper eyelid, which is- Monolid. You know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I just always right. thought that was funny. Ricky, Ricky has it just a little bit. It's 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 you know very like you know just half a bit. In the morning, yeah. um, when I'm before I take my allergy pill, um, my eyes you could definitely tell I'm Japanese in the morning, a hundred percent. Um, your, and your so I was here. <laughs> get swollen. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's like very obvious. And then if I'm having an allergy attack, very obvious that I'm Asian. Um. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes sometimes it comes I mean, out across a lot eyes, more prominently than usual. My eyes slant down at the outside like my mother's, but but I don't have that that stiff upper eyelid that that you know um, that Asians have. Some yeah. some Asians, especially Chinese people and especially Chinese women, they'll have their upper eyelid um, surgically shortened. Yeah, 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 yeah. They get double eyelid surgery so, because um, because they 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 think because they they um, they want to look more Western. The same reason that Southeast Asians, um, like in Thailand and Vietnam and and those places, they have skin whiteners to try and make themselves look whiter. It's crazy yeah. what people do to um you know to the, try and feel skin. like they're part of the you know part of the 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 um privileged class yes the skin whitener was a huge thing for uh latin american and mexican culture my mom yeah. always bought it um oh and then God. she'd get mad at me for being out in the sun too long because i would get dark and so she always made me put on like a lot of sunscreen and stuff so that I wouldn't get too dark because I was the I was the lightest in skin tone of all of my uh siblings so did but she so she bought this soap the game? yes we did I see I missed that we're gonna see how it goes basically uh, go ahead and uh hit everybody in um um Kirsten is Kirsten is the mm -hmm. uh, first end. There, yeah. I was looking at restream to see if anybody else was here, and there is no one. Well, we just started, so. Yeah. We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no holds barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is bracketeering. I'm Hell sending yeah, the topic of our fun. first bracket to your devices now. Oh, this looks so Foolish fun. thing to say right before you die. It does. Wow, that's heavy. The words I'm saying right now could be my last words. Or these. You're all going to write two of your best answers. If one of them wins the whole bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to checkbox.tv and entering the room code. Time's running out. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to step up to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer, we'll get the most votes. You'll earn some sweet, sweet moolah. Yeah.
The predictions are in. Let's dive into our first bracket. Never thought I'd see this matchup. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change. Decisive victory. I didn't get to vote. Yeah, we've only got three. It's hard to do brackets with three. It's weird that this is my job. I'm on the edge of my seat. And forth they went. It looks like everyone got this one wrong. Uh, what do we see what's going on on the other side of the I'm clearly going to lose this game. That was a real nail biter. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one too. Oh, like that one. It doesn't get any closer than that. <laughs> okay, this one's a not cash prize if you predicted this would happen. People. Gordon, you should get more people to join you. Get on the round two. It's time to make another prediction. You've got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. I have a feeling that, that Ricky is Textbook speaker. winning. We're just one match away from our finals. Former teammates, will these two answers be able to stay focused on the match? <laughs> Why is the sound that funny? That kind of is illegal in some states. How about now? Is it still funny? And now the definitive matchup. What is the coolest thing to say right before you meet your maker? <laughs> What are you typing in there? I'm chatting with DJ. Oh, oh I missed my, missed my oh. opportunity there. So you're supporting for your answer by chatting on your devices as fast as you can. We have our first winner. That was one hell of a bracket. Let's see how the yeah, score. That was definitely it. Yeah, figured. Okay, next game. Wait, I lost. The blind bracket. We start with just the cat. How did that happen? I I was the 100 percent. No one else in the game will type like 400 points ahead of me. Oh, oh, I got this here. I got this one. We'll see the real bracket title after the answers are all in. I don't know if I spelled it right. Oh, whatever. Right out. See what this bracket is really about. 
best nickname for a soldier in a war movie that's totally going to die. It's true what they say. This game is heck. Time to get in those predictions. Predictions are in. Up first. Out of the gate with a big, like falling off a log. <laughs> Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. <laughs> The weird thing is, is that somewhere in Texas, there is a city named all of these things. <laughs> Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. <laughs> Stanford is a damn good city name. That's a squeaker. Yeah. Where the, but where that wasn't that? the prompt. No, that's why it's fine. It's time to round out the bracket. I feel like I'm the alien right now. You are the alien. That was a slaughter. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. <laughs> uh, clear front runner. Well, a win is a win. <laughs> That's racist. Our winner moves on to the final. But let's find out who they'll face off against. Oh, And now the final face-off. What's the best nickname for a totally doomed character in a war movie? <laughs> Voters are being loud and clear on this one. How is there four votes? Because we have an audience member, Mr. Bear. Yeah, uh, uh, everything gets all garbled up by the time it gets to my ears and I can't tell who's We have an what. audience member. Oh, oh, we have an audience member. Oh. Feel good. See? Okay. Boom. Let's check out that scoreboard. Both of those last ones were mine, by the way. Catman do <laughs> Nice. <laughs> he said, oh, uh, he said, I'm not gonna win. Just, just edging oh, it out. It's all been leading by 33. Time for the triple blind bracket. This bracket will change every single mm -hmm. round. Here's your starting category. Name any celebrity. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take? Time's running out. Yeah, but I can't think of another one. Okay, that'll Let's be see fun. what we're dealing with. We probably do the best job playing Batman. 
time to get in those predictions. <laughs> I better win or y'all are racist. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All I cash is doubled this round. So make these choices count. <laughs> oh, now I thought of what I should have done for my. The predictions are in. Starting <laughs> things <laughs> off. <laughs> this is one for <laughs> the is. Okay. Honestly, she was already in uh, John Wick, so she That's did right. a great she job. Kicked ass. She, she kicked did. ass in John Wick. She even wrote the soundtrack for it. So. Stop. She now looks good. So good. That's a celebrity, right? Yeah. Or like Hello Titty. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. Yeah, wait do you see the other one. Oh. Sorry. That's yeah, so sorry, good. Ellen. Was ugly. Sorry, Ellen. Ellen would suck as a bad man. I would not watch that movie. <laughs> And now our last two contenders face off. Not hello, boobies. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I can't believe she lost. Away with that one. The lion, the witch. In Has Kirsty seen the sticker? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it's Let's hello switch titties. up this bracket. Not hello, boobies. Best person oh, you're to have right. visit you every right. night in your dreams. <laughs> Get those predictions in now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she literally has really a song called Lucid Dreaming, and okay. I want all of you to know this. I know, this I know which one's going to win. I'm still not voting for her. This is why we do this. Fucking folks. racist. <laughs> Is it because of her eyelids? Oh, Probably. that win was so She has a song <laughs> about visiting you in your fucking dreams. Well, she hasn't. So. Everyone bets on the favorite and she has it. for me. Prove it. I can't record my fucking dreams. The finals are just a win away from these next two answers. Oh my God. The bracket like well, the truth. I don't want to be locked in a closet no, with one of these no. men. That's all I'll say. No, no, no contest. <laughs> no contest. No, fuck yeah, no contest. Have you seen Dirty Dancing? Yeah. I'm well. to go because I have the time. You're being the best president. I hope your answer is still making oh, sense. Hell. And the <laughs> most definitive matchup. Oh, there's only one correct answer here. <laughs> Overwhelming support already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tiebreaker. Uh-oh, spaghetti So your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. <laughs> Even though she's technically British. Yeah, well. Patrick Swayze's dead, so there's it's really about, only it's about one time right we answer. See who won present. it all. I know, I agree. Take us back to the fucking <laughs> kings. Yeah. I want an oligarch again. <laughs> yeah. Ricky totally, Ricky totally got this. I totally you, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Because of my typo, if I had said hello titties, it might have actually won. Honestly, I would have voted for hello titty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes, we're sure we want to exit. Okay, pick another uh, one. Bibbage, you want it? Or I know you don't like the drawing games, but I want to try Civic Doodle. We've never tried it before. Okay. Once this moth decides to stop being fucking racist and let us in. <laughs> Ricky, chill with the racist shit. <laughs> I'm not saying racist shit. No, the moth is definitely. 
yeah, it's totally the moth. What happened? Um, I I have to pull it back oh, up. It, it quit unexpectedly. You have to, yeah. There you go. Well, now I can hear it. I like that noise. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> This drawing. How can I erase it? Oh, titty. <laughs> Is everybody in? Uh, Kirsten saying meow, moo, meow, moo, like Momo. Meow mix. Meow Fucking mix. meow mix, meow mix, <laughs> please deliver. All right. I want to do mine is, over again. Sadness. Okay, it's okay. Fine. Is, um, all right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Doodle Valley, home of the world's only complete werewolf skeleton. I love the thick Thank brown drip. Thank you for volunteering or being unwillingly enlisted to participate in our town beautification mm -hmm. initiative. Remember, we're still mm -hmm. looking for audience members to join in and cast their votes. The mayor wants to turn all of the boring blank walls in the town into wholesome community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Bethany. Well, that's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. <laughs> right here. As you can see, this mural is already in progress. The local preschool was going to paint something here, but this is as far as they got before they declared it an exercise in futility. They're very advanced. And just <laughs> left us hanging there. Look at that. We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, everybody. Ready? Set? What? Oh, go! While these two are drawing, the rest of you can express your feelings about their work with the buttons on your device. I like the vegetable one. Time's running out. Finish up quick. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to choose. Luckily, I don't have to. You do. Come on, vote, why don't you? That's supposed to be a woman, and she's supposed to be kissing that thing or hugging it. Let's count those votes. Mine's a kitty. Oh, beautiful. We've got our results. <laughs> Not so fast, Mary Beth. Each match, I'll choose a different emoticon, and I'll give out a bonus to the drawing that earned the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the most disgusting drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Now you two get to add something. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. Go. Showing me the emojis I'm picking. <laughs> Time.
time to vote. <laughs> Here we go. I'm sorry, but you put two D's in a drawing, you win. Drawing with <laughs> purple bananas, or whatever those are. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Give a now fuck. You two give it a shot. I have give head to a kitty looking ass bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> I want us to keep going. Oh god. You. <laughs> Let's see how that shook out. <laughs> this is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Nobody move. I think our painting is complete, but it still needs a title. Use your device to suggest. Isn't this one. for an elementary school wall? I'm sorry, my title wins, bitch. <laughs> now vote for your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny. <laughs> wow, nobody voted for me. That's so mean. <laughs> oh, wow, I can't believe somebody would do that. How could you do this to me? <laughs> it's funny because that's actually, it looks like me. <laughs> A kitty head. <laughs> oh my god, device battery low. Can you plug in your okay. device? What no, I live on the edge. Prove next. I see Let's that. See. <laughs> Put on your artist caps. Go. Time's running out. Better hurry. It's voting time. <laughs> Rack up those votes. <laughs> Yours is good. Next up, go. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize we were drawing the exact same thing. <laughs> It's voting time! 
game! <laughs> I'm a wizard, Harry. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, because he's taking a whiz. <laughs> This masterpiece is ready for a title. Okay, vote for your favorite. <laughs> I'm glad you liked Slippin' and Chin. <laughs> yeah, that was okay, good. let's take a look. That was better than your last I one. I am just now Thanks. realizing you should have worn <laughs> Yummy cummy in my tummy was a fucking goat, all right? No, it was not. Yes, that it was. was horrible. Nope. You're racist. Disgusting. Maybe. Oh, how on earth did I win that? I hate these games. What's next on the agenda, sir? Oh, I got you a know special what? So trick for a so fun. artist, Dr. Zydeco. That's not... What is it, sir? Your art has so moved me to action. commission you to do a portrait. One that'll hang in the town hall. <laughs> Why does he sound like a pedo? I think he sounds ready, like everyone, he's a pedo. All drawing at once this time. No. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. He sounds and like just flip through the old Dual Valley phone book. On drugs. Here we go. That's who you're gonna draw. On uh, keto sir, drugs. I've got no clue who that is. Ah, you remember that? It's the second cousin of Fred Gunkel. You know, and. Well, it wasn't really second cousin. Between you and there me, I don't think he knows who it is either. So let's just start Force. by drawing some and eyes. Any really eyes will do. He met somebody when he was on that island near the Sandwich Islands. Well, it wasn't the Sandwich Islands. It was a little bit south, I think. And he met this first man, and their second cousin was related to, I don't know, I haven't written down. <laughs> Ricky! What? Let's vote anyway. <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm not. It wasn't Ricky. You're lying. He's not. <laughs> Next, let's draw the nose. That branch is really good. <laughs> okay, vote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> They gotta know what people are, are gonna do with these prompts, right? <laughs> oh no, a tie! Shut down the government! Now, now, Persephone, as mayor, I get to break all the Somebody tie. didn't vote. I'm gonna pick I did. this one. Somebody didn't vote. And now the mouth.
pretty girl. What are you doing? What are you doing sitting with I am done. <laughs> I don't. Why does one I'm of them look like a butthole and one of them looks like titty? Drawing my freaking heart out. And y'all are making a mockery. I have never once made mockery drawings. Finally, finish this off in any way you want. I trust you all implicitly. I gotta give this bitch a cunty little bang. Freaky, they didn't say draw a self-portrait. Um, you think I have a cunty little bang? It's time to see the finished piece. <laughs> what a I mean, that is a little, little goober goober. You know, I should introduce Hell you yeah, to my single great grandchildren. You're all winners in my heart, but the votes tell a different story. Damn. Bear ate the fuck out of us. <laughs> <laughs> Be like that sometimes. That one was fun. Shit charging. All right. And when you're talking about like a third person, then you say des. So this it would be kuma des. Kuma des. Yes. All right. My shit crashed. You want to do Again. a trivia? You want Two, to do a one, trivia? One trivia. One singular trivia for the good girls and boys. I need to pee. This usually you need to be lobotomized? Time. No. Immediately no. All right, hurry up. Go, 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 hurry up. I'm going to load I up the game. I have to change the Twitch. Stop yelling at me. We playing? Trivia Murder Party 2, baby. And your code is gonna be... Wave. I may not solve puzzles really, really fast, but I do type really, really fast. Shell, yeah. Good girl. Let me just mean. What is it? W V A Y. Okay. Go ahead and play the instruction. All right. The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. A car crashing into another car. A car crashing into another car. The hotel was run by a mysterious family. I heart mommy. Ain't that the truth?
good job. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Those free vacation coupons you received in the mail were a trick, luring you into a game with deadly consequences. Only one <laughs> of you will survive. Anyway, we you know like you my have music? many choices for yes. your murder hotel needs, and we're grateful you chose us. Okay, first question. What country produces the most pulp and paper in the world? Use your device to answer the question. I have no idea, but I'm gonna guess this one. And the correct answer is... Yay! You got the question right. Educated guess. Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> Let's keep moving. What was the first antibiotic to be discovered? Who picked? This. Ah, damn it. I knew it. Radium was the funny answer. Which leaves only you. Well, that's it's what time. I think. Welcome to the killing room. I don't want to be killed in a room. Eggs. Oh my god, I love pegging. You're going to drop down this floor and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm. Someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Hey, you, pick the landing slots that kill. Fuck. Okay. All right. Let the game. Yay! Physics! Yay! Good job. Yeah, I didn't get I pegged. It. I knew it. I should have made them all death zones. <laughs> Here's where I keep everybody's scores. I hope you like it. Let's try another one. Which plant grows the fastest? Who picked? This. I knew it. Yeah, I knew this one. What? How did you not get that? Come with because me. I knew it was bamboo, so I figured it was a trick question, and I guessed algae. Welcome to room 217. This one lets you protect they yourself. They don't do many trick questions on here, though. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. <laughs> Oh, it has to be a real four-letter word. You can't just make something up. Time's Fuck. almost up. Fuck, I don't know what to pick. <laughs> Couldn't think of one? I'll letter one for you. How about one that rhymes with head? Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you all. What the I fuck? I guessed the password. Bank account password. It didn't let me submit it. That's so gay. <laughs> oh my god. Did, I guessed it? That was my guess. Surprise! The end of your life is the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. What's that adorable part of a dog where the front of the skull slopes down to the muzzle? I always want to stick my finger in that spot. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know there was a word for that. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Follow me. Let's use one of my cousin Aloysius's old stage props. Pick a space inside the box to hide. I would say don't get too comfortable, but I feel like that's obvious. Uh -oh. 
Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Here's the fun part. You get a sword. On your device, choose a ro- Parry! Thrust! Oh, point. You chose too quickly. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What movie features Terrence Howard and Taraji P. Henson trying to start a musical empire? I'm guessing. Who picked this? Good guess. Which leaves only you. I want to show you something. Which leaves only you. Y'all are racist. I'm just saying. <laughs> ah, the lost art of letter writing. Fucking hate this one. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what try. I say as you can. Everyone oh, come else on. will be typing too. Yay! Has a better job than you. Uh, you, you literally <laughs> tried to rage quit. Okay, starting letter now. To the good people at Precious Cat Magazine, congrats on another knockout issue. Just when I thought cats could not get more precious, you give us this fancy pause. I would like to double my subscription if that's a thing you can do. Time's up. Okay, now let me just look back at my beautiful words as tri- And what's the result? But did anyone do better than you? Oh, shit! Well, you failed. Ah. I can't send this letter, are you kidding me? <sighs> what? Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Geologic time periods. Tap each answer that fits the category. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. Lame. <laughs> You're a little bit closer to escaping. But get this, all ghosts get to play too. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Fuck. Onions. Cats in the musical, cats. Those ghosts are closing in on you. Don't look behind you. It's only darkness. I'm gonna die. Founding members of NATO. Oi. Next question. Who named after people? That's not your cheese. That's not your cheese. <laughs> Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. I didn't know that was named after someone. Roman emperors. Ugh, I gotta get some harder questions. <laughs> Coca-Cola brands. Uh oh, you killed your friend. <laughs> Better get away fast. 
I won't. Don't worry. One chance. Ah, oh, fuck. Film score by John Williams. Wow, I don't know who's gonna win. <laughs> I do. Where do you think you're going? You need a perfect answer for your final escape. You need a perfect and that answer. And the third answer choice now, too. Uh. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Detective on a Law and Order show. Time is over. Oh shit! I was not expecting that. I ah. was not expecting that. Come no fucking Bullard. way, I just won that. I failed the whole thing and I just win it at the last second. <laughs> it do, you know what they say, Ricky? It do it be like that. It do sometimes. be, though. It do it be. It do be, do be, do. Alright. Raw Banana said, yeah, what the go fuck do is something Zoom? about my headache. Alright. Oh no, you have a headache? Enjoy yourself. Yeah, you know. I'm sorry, I didn't I know that. To, I'm over to, here I yelling probably... in your ear. <clears throat> oh, I turned you down. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> I need to. Uh, I need to to go and drink a bunch of water. All right. Thanks for joining us All tonight, right. Bear. Um, you kids have a great evening, and to everybody else, have a great evening. Um, we'll be back tomorrow morning, same bat time, same bat channel. No. At 11 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> yes. Right, right. And 11 a.m. Or what is 11, it? Uh, 11 a.m. Pacific. 1100. That's <laughs> 11 a.m. Pacific for the muggles. Yeah, there you go. Same um, bat like time, Kirstie. same bat channel. Like Kirsty. Live, live and in color. In color from live and in fabulous color. Las Vegas, Nevada. Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. We this love has you. been whatever this has been. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, thanks to our sponsor. Thank you to our sponsor, code.bearheart.org, where you can get the hottest, sexiest, gankiest little fucking funny courses you've ever The fucking slutiest little python. <laughs> And you can only find such a slight Python. Yeah, very hard. That'll work. Okay. Love you.